Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about wave propagation in lossless medium. So, a lossless medium is a medium with zero conductivity and finite permeability and permittivity. So, when the wave is propagating in the lossless medium, then the conductivity is exactly equals to zero, but it will have some value of permittivity as well as permeability. When the electromagnetic wave propagating through a lossless medium, then the amplitude of electric field or the magnetic field remain constant throughout the propagation. So this is all about the wave propagation in lossless medium. Now let us have a look at some parameters that are associated while the propagation of wave in the lossless medium. So for lossless medium the first parameter associated with the propagation of wave in the lossless medium is conductivity so the conductivity can also be represented as sigma where in the lossless medium the value of sigma is exactly equals to zero that we discussed here the second parameter is nothing but permeability see the permeability can also be represented by mu where for the lossless medium the mu is equals to mu zero mu r where this mu zero represents the permeability of free space and mu r is relative permeability the next parameter is permittivity permittivity can be denoted by epsilon where the permittivity for the lossless medium is always be equals to epsilon 0 epsilon r here epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space and epsilon r is the permittivity of relative permeability so this is all about the parameters that are associated by the wave propagation in lossless medium now let us discuss some factors that are associated with lossless medium so the first factor is propagation constant propagation constant can also be represented by the symbol that is gamma and in the derivation of plane wave we have discussed the value of propagation constant as gamma that is being equals to under the root j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon now as we discussed that the conductivity for the lossless medium is always be equals to zero so we can say that for lossless medium sigma is equals to zero on putting the value of sigma zero here we get the modified expression for the propagation constant as g omega mu like it here it is zero so the remaining term is g omega epsilon only if we take this g omega out of the under root then the propagation constant will be equal to g omega under the root mu into epsilon now for the lossless medium the value of permeability is nothing but equals to mu zero mu r and the value of permittivity that is epsilon is equals to epsilon zero epsilon r on replacing the value of permittivity and permeability we get 
गामा इक्वल्स टू जे ओमेगा अंडर द रूट म्यू जीरो म्यू आर एफ सेल एन जीरो इन टू एफ सेल एन आर दिस इज द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन और द वैल्यू ऑफ प्रोपोगेशन कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर द वे प्रोपोगेशन इन लॉसलेस मीडियम नाउ लेट एस है लुक एट द सेकेंड पैरामीटर दैट इज एटेन्यूशन कॉन्स्टेंट द एटेन्यूशन कॉन्स्टेंट कैन ऑल्सो भी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अल्फा हियर वी हैव डिराइव द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा इन द डेरीवेशन ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म प्लेन वेव एज अल्फा विच इज ऑलवेज बींग इक्वल्स टू ओमेगा अंडर द रूट म्यू एफ सेवन ओवर टू इन ब्रैकेट अंडर द रूट वन प्लस सिगमा ओवर ओमेगा एफ सेवन टू द पावर टू माइनस वन नाउ फॉर द लॉसलेस मीडियम वी नो डैट सिग्मा इक्वल्स टू जीरो So the conductivity is zero. That's why, on replacing the conductivity with zero, we will get the expression as one minus one. So one minus one will always be get zero only, and whole term will get multiplied with zero. So the value of attenuation constant will be equals to zero only. So this is the attenuation constant while the wave is propagating in lossless medium. Now. let us discuss the third parameter third factor sorry that is phase constant phase constant can always be represented by symbol that is beta and we derive the value of beta in the equation of plane wave as beta that is equals to omega under the root mu epsilon over 2 in bracket under the root 1 plus sigma over omega epsilon to the power 2 plus 1 so this is the value of phase constant and for the lossless medium we get the conductivity always be equals to 0 since the value of sigma is always be equals to 0 for the lossless medium so on replacing the value of sigma here we get 1 plus 1 that is 2 here in this bracket and the modified formula for the beta will be equals to omega under the root mu epsilon by 2 and in this bracket we get 1 plus 1 that is 2 this 2 will get cancel out with this 2 so the value of beta will become omega under the root mu epsilon so this is the expression for phase constant when the wave is propagating in lossless medium now let us discuss the third parameter that is phase constant phase velocity it is fourth parameter phase velocity since the expression for the phase velocity is vp that is equals to omega over beta and recently we calculated the value of phase constant that is beta equals to omega under the root mu epsilon so on replacing the value of beta here we get the value of phase velocity that is vp omega over omega under the root mu epsilon now the final value of vp that is being equals to this omega will get cancel out with this omega and we will get 1 over under the root mu epsilon so this is the value of phase velocity when the wave is propagating in lossless medium now 
let us discuss the fifth factor that is intrinsic impedance. Since the intrinsic impedance can be denoted by neta, where this neta is equals to under the root j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon. Now, since we know that the value of conductivity is equals to zero for the lossless medium, so the value of neta will be equal to j omega mu j omega epsilon now this j omega will get cancel out with this j omega so the final value for the neta will become neta equals to under the root mu over epsilon and we know that for the lossless medium the value of permeability is equal to mu zero mu r and the value of permittivity is equal to epsilon 0 epsilon r on replacing this term we get the value of intrinsic impedance that is neta equals to under the root mu 0 mu r over epsilon 0 epsilon r we can write this term also like neta equals to under the root mu 0 over epsilon 0 under the root mu r over epsilon r since we know that the value of under the root mu 0 over epsilon 0 is nothing but equals to 120 pi on replacing the value of under the root mu 0 over epsilon 0 with this 120 pi we get the final value of neta as neta equals to 120 pi under the root mu r over epsilon r so this is the value of intrinsic impedance when the wave is propagating in lossless medium so this is all about the parameters and the factors associated with the propagation of wave in lossless medium if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button. Thank you.